alive. And I'm outside. And it's a little rainy, but it's still beautiful out here. And I have a lot to cover today, and I like to keep it under 20 minutes. Because in watching YouTube, I've had my channel since 2003. And I've been watching the big YouTubers, the million subscriber YouTubers. And they like to keep their stuff under 20 minutes. So I'm going to do my best, even though I've got a lot to cover today. And I'm going to start out by clearing up some rumors. The rumor about the real estate agent giving me everybody's address is absolutely true. But the way I got it is not quite true. Because I didn't sleep with him. I did a Monica Lewinsky on it. That's the true version. So if you people want to save money, find out where people live, get yourself a real estate guy. Now, the second rumor is that the gangster and I are best friends and we're all lovey-dovey and everything's good. That is a total lie. The only reason that I went in her chat that day, and one other person knows this, I said, let me go off in the gangster's chat and just see what kind of shit it stirs up and what kind of little snitches come out of the woodwork. Well, it worked to a T. I went in there. I'm going to give the gangster credit. I think she caught on. I think she knew I wasn't in there throwing out no olive branch or apologizing. I think she knew exactly what I was doing. She played it good because when she asked me, didn't I used to like her channel or was a member or something? And I said, yeah, back when you had good content, when you were playing my Instagram lives, she didn't get mad. She went along with it. I think she knew. And guess what? My plan worked. Because now I'm going to tell all of you something else. Do not keep interrupting Jules chat, asking her questions about me. If I told her something in confidence, I can guarantee you something of just a short time I've known her, she is not going to repeat it. Period. And if she doesn't know, she doesn't know. So quit going in there and saying, Terry time, Terry time, Terry time, Terry time. She doesn't know or she's not going to tell you. So leave her the fuck alone. Leave all my friends alone. I've only got four. Leave them alone because they're not going to tell you anything. That's why they're my friends because I can trust them. Now, I've seen the videos of the gangster threatening to come to Texas, but you notice she said she's going to wait and walk over my grave. So the chances of her outliving me are slim to none. I was never, I'm not going to use the word triggered. That's another thing. I'm going to use offended. That's an old time word and people know what it means. So I was offended, yeah, but I wasn't scared because that's her M.O. She ain't never going to show up down here in Texas and do anything. Even when she talked about running over dogs and stuff, that's what she does. That's her gimmick. That's her M.O., whatever you want to say. It didn't even really offend me. It didn't even really affect me. I got a good live out of it, answering the video. But other than that, we're not friends. The only time I have ever talked to that girl was in that chat. And. That brings me to the next thing. Little Miss KK, you have been wanting my attention, little girl, for so long. You've just been bothering people and getting in people's lives. And you thought you had a big gold mine when you saw me over there in a chat. And you think I'm that stupid that I would go in a chat and say what I said. And then you're running back like clockwork, like the little snitch that you are. Running back, you're up in everybody's chats, running your mouth about me. You don't know anything about me. We were never friends. Because you hit like on somebody's post on Instagram for a couple years doesn't mean you're friends. It never meant we were friends. I talk to my friends on the phone. My friends have my phone number. We don't mess around on Instagram. So where you got this idea that we were wonderful friends... Got you a nickname, girl. I didn't even give you a nickname because I never thought about you. But now I'm going to nickname you Delusional. Because you're delusional if you think I care about what you say or the little screenshot you run and get in a comment that I was right out in the open talking about. How much of a screenshot is that? How secret was that? You're delusional. And your nickname is now going to be Delusional. You wanted my attention? You're going to get it. 
I'm going to tell you exactly why I blocked you. Exactly. So you will have no doubt in your head why I did it. Like I said, we've been hitting like on each other's pose for two years. However long it was, it didn't matter. I'd never talked to her or anything. All of a sudden, this woman comes out of the woodwork. And I'm not going to mention her name because she's a big ball baby. If you mention her name, she cries. So I'm not going to mention her name. And she used KK to get to me. That's shady right from the start. That sent some red flag. I'm thinking, what is this chick that I don't even know coming to me using KK, who was never a friend? You know, she didn't know that much about me to be referring people to me. And this chick knew everything I liked. Everything. The wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia, the true crime stuff, the animal lover stuff. It was like she was reading a script almost. I didn't know the chick. I went ahead and had her. She said, KK told me to come, and I'd like you, and blah, 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 blah. So I was wondering, you know, this ain't right. Something ain't right about this. So I talked to somebody I know. I said, what about this chick? Oh, she's okay, blah, blah. I said, well, she's high maintenance to me. I don't figure I'm going to mess with her because she was constantly telling me stuff. I haven't got a lot of time to mess with people. I got a real life that I do things. And so the one and only time that KK and I ever spoke was over this chick how she thought i'd like her and blah 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 and i'm still you know i'm thinking there's something ain't right something don't just come at you out of the blue you somebody you barely know to get to you and then know every single thing you like wild wonderful whites watched them on her wedding night all this fantastical stuff and on top of that she's a ball baby she's one of them triggered snowflake type people so I told my other friend, I said, I'm not going to do this shit. I'm getting ready to block her because I don't have time to talk to somebody 20 times a day. So I blocked her. And, of course, KK's this big person that doesn't get involved in any drama ever. And I see her up in everybody's chat running that mouth. I said, well, guess what? She's getting blocked, too. So now you know, KK, why I blocked you, delusional, because of your mouth. You getting in chats, you sending me this chick I know nothing about, but what I found out about her and you, I don't like. So you're both blocked. So quit asking people why I blocked you. Quit telling people that me and the gangster are best friends and all that shit because we're not. We never will be. I promise you that. We will never be friends. I went in her chat for the reason that I went in the chat for, to bring people like you, snitches, delusional people out of the damn woodwork and it worked to a T because you ran right straight to the room oh I got screenshots I got proof that Terry Times a hypocrite how am I a hypocrite answer how I'm a hypocrite I have said from the beginning if I don't like somebody I block them I don't need to talk about it I don't need to argue about it I just block them it's as simple as that block them and I would have never mentioned your name if you did just shut up you couldn't do it so now you're getting your attention kk you're finding out everything i don't trust you i don't trust you as far as i can get you out of my sight your big i stay out of the drama speech is not true it's not true then and it's not true now so there you've got your answers and for any of the rest of you that got questions about me don't go in jules's chat and ruin her chat with a bunch of questions about terry time because i've already told you the stuff she knows, she's not going to repeat. And the stuff she doesn't know, she doesn't know. So just shut the fuck up. Stay out of her goddamn room talking about me. And that's it. If you don't, if I don't want you to know it, you're not going to know it. And if I do want you to know it, I'm going to go in a chat and I'm going to comment. And you're going to see me in there. And it's not some big secret. If in fact, that mafia thing they haven't let me do one assignment yet so i don't know what kind of plotting they're doing but i'm not involved in it. but the reason jules and i are friends is because i told her from the start most of the people in her chat i don't like i don't trust she knows that and i said you know it's your chat you can have them around if you want to but don't expect me big buddies with them i'm not going to do it we understand each other we don't lie to each other we don't agree all the time. In fact, we seldom agree. But I do know one thing. She's an animal lover, and she's not going to tell anybody anything I've ever told her in confidence, ever. So knock it off. 
and leave her alone. And you, KK, and your little crybaby friend, you ever get a hold of another one of my friends and upset them like you did, and I'm not going to bring her name up, but you know who it is, shut up. She doesn't, she's not involved in this. And I just told you why you're blocked. Because you're a troublemaking little snitch and your little buddy is right there with you. And God forbid I mention her name because she's the biggest ball baby I ever talked to in my life. And I'm not going to say trigger it, I'm going to say opinions. Because offend and opinions make more sense than being triggered. I'm going to tell you something that offends me big time. You women. And a couple guys over there making fun of squirrel soup and dog soup and cat soup. Let me tell you something. Every one of you motherfuckers that think that's funny, there's 200 more that think it's offensive. Offensive. You got that? YouTube is full of animal lovers. Let me tell you that. And I love all animals from a bird to a damn fish and all in between and all breeds of dogs and I don't care if it's the toughest biker in the world or somebody in the ghetto you better believe when you're talking like that with your squirrel boiling and your cat boiling and eating Pekingese you're offending way more people than you're impressing way more believe that because I have people sending me every video every comment where one of you stupid son of a bitches said something mean about an animal and they're people that don't even like me whether they like me or whether they don't they know one thing about me i love animals and i'm an advocate for animals and i've been in the animal rescue when you people were shitting yellow so they know i'm true about animals and whether they like me or can't stand me it makes no difference they know if they send me something i'm gonna remember it i'm gonna remember who said it and I'm going to remember what kind of context. And your little squirrel beat down is a joke. It's a joke. And talking about animals is a joke. Because for every, I've seen only four in there actually laughing about it. And they probably don't care about animals because they don't care about themselves. Or they wouldn't be alcoholics and drunks on a damn panel. They would care about how their image looked. They would show their faces and stuff. I'm telling you right now, you have no idea how many people love animals and how many people you're offending every time you run those mouths. So keep doing it. You're destroying yourselves. You are destroying yourselves. And if I hear you one more time, you drunk bitch, say anything about me ever talking about a kid, you're going to regret it. Because I had a thousand dollars out for a year. And I know you're a bunch of broke bitches, and none of you could find one video, one text, nowhere, no how of me talking about a kid, because I don't talk about people's kids. I don't call cops. I don't call pizzas. I don't call CPS. I don't call jobs. And you know I don't, or one of you broke fuckers would have got that thousand when I had it out there and I wouldn't have been afraid to put a hundred thousand out there because I know what I'm about and I'm not about snitching I don't call cops I don't call CPS I don't talk about anybody's kids ever or their family never have never will I can guarantee you that on hyena's life I have never done that and I never will and you can talk about me all you want that's why that little thing of gangster saying she's gonna come down here and do she ain't gonna do shit she never has all she does is run her mouth that's all she's ever done she's more or less admitted it when she gets mad that's her little like the wrestlers used to have a little gimmick that's her little gimmick that's why i nickname her gangster and now kk you've got a nickname and it's delusional because you're an idiot i didn't care enough about you to fucking worry about you until you come in there and made an ass out of yourself and set some friend sideways at me all goofy acting thinking like who in the world would send somebody to me bringing up the wild wonderful wets whites sorry dirty got the pills here Bowdoin county making call animal freedom call Use her for animal warning, or rattlesnake warning. Anything you want to say it is, Dirty started it. And I do love the wild, wonderful wife. She didn't know jack shit about them. That was a fucking fake story that somebody fed her to tell me. Just like somebody coming up to me and saying, wow, I just love Pekingese. And then they don't know a fucking thing about them. 
I can spot a goddamn scam a mile away. How do you think I'm 71 and ran a porn room with a bunch of scamming females and I didn't learn anything? You think I'm that stupid? Don't be asking Jules no more shit, because you're not going to find out nothing. Jules knows I don't like half of her people, probably more than half. We don't talk about it. She don't tell me what to do, and I don't tell her what to do, and we get along fine. And in fact, there's a little squirrel right here in Texas, I think, has a little kind of soul thing with Jules, because the thing sits out there and lets me take a picture. I can't get close enough to it to find out what sex it is, but I see it almost every day now. We've got the pink hair going on, the Larissa filter, the love for animals. She trusts people more than I do because I don't trust anybody, anywhere, anytime. They have to earn my trust. And Jules has earned my trust. And whether you like her or whether you don't makes no difference to me whatsoever because I do. And that's all I care about. I don't care. I don't care if the rest of you run and tell her stuff. I don't care. Because we know where we stand with each other. And that's something you very seldom get with people. And it's rainy out here today. And my dogs are all... I don't know if I... Oh, I've got to show you some of these flowers, though. Am I looking pretty hot? Because she re... Uh, Allie re-upped my paint today. A little bit brighter than it was. So, three rumors. I settled. The real estate guy was a Monica Lewinsky. And Gangster and I are not friends, and we never will be. But I don't hate her. She never scared me. She offended me, maybe, a little bit. But these squirrel-killing, soup-digging women are offending me a lot more. And talking about kicking dogs around and think everything's fine, and they're laughing about it, making jokes. Guess what? I have an army of people that are animal lovers. An army. And you people have no idea who they are because they actually don't like me. But they like that I mean what I say about animals and all your little comments and all your little jokes, which four or five of you think is funny. Believe me, there's two or three hundred other people that think it's sickening. Sickening the way you talk. And I have to get this shit because they know I'm an animal lover and I'm going to say something about it. And I'm saying something about it. Keep doing it. Keep running your mouths about animals and squirrels. And don't believe me, I'm not a vegan. I eat meat, I love meat, I love it. But if I had to kill an animal to eat meat, guess what? I'd be a vegan. But I don't I don't hate hunters. I've known hunters my whole life. There's a big difference between hunting and giving dogs antifreeze. And talking about boiling squirrels. There are squirrel hunters that shoot the squirrels and eat them that's natural but talking about making a gumbo and recipes and all shit that's sickening and you were trying to get to jewels that's what you were trying to do you were trying to offend jewels about her squirrels believe me you're not going to offend jewels anymore and you're sure not going to offend me anymore you're going to piss me off and you're probably going to regret it because all i have to do is say something to a few of these animal lovers and get PETA on there listening to your damn shit see how you'll explain it to them See how you'll explain your language and your actions to PETA because I know you sent those emails to real and to JY and whether you like him or hate him, you leave his cats alone. You leave everybody's animals alone. They're innocent. The animals are innocent. I don't care how bad you hate the people. Leave their animals and leave their kids alone. And the pizza thing is kind of cool. I wish you'd send me one. I put the address of the pizza place. It's called Milano's in Grand Saline, Texas. My name is out there, Terry Wakely, and I like a meat lovers. Get a lot of meat on that pizza because, man, I love meat. I'm a meat-eating girl. So I think I've got everything covered. I shook my pill. Oh, my unsweet tea with some snap in it. Can't forget my tea. I know that's one of the favorite things I do talk about it all the time call me meth ma and all this stuff well from what i can see i'm 71 i can do a 20 minute live in 20 minutes and stay on point and not wander all over the country and get distracted so i would say you're giving the m word a ba oh the m word here we go you're not gonna know if i'm talking about killing or what but you all know what snap means and i'm a snap head how about that how about those words and delusional you got yourself a little nickname, KK. Now, I hope I've answered all your questions because you are an idiot, a total 
idiot. This could have all just been left. But no, you had to be the big eye spy and run and get some screenshots of me talking in the gangsters chat like we're big best friends. You're an idiot. You're a delusional idiot. And you're not neutral to anything. You take sides quicker than a ping pong match. And quit bugging Jules. I do not want to go in her chat again and see anybody asking her anything about Terry time. So I'm telling you right now, she either won't tell you or she doesn't know. And for all your Reddit questions, you know-it-alls, I'm every single person you've accused me of. Every single one. Days of our lives. Wrong lemon. Wrong orange. Apprehensive sky. I'm all of them. All of them and more. And I own rooms beyond rooms. Private rooms. Open rooms. Every single one of you that think you know what I'm doing, you haven't got a fucking clue. And you never will. So you go ahead and blame me for everything. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Because you don't have a clue. And you got an idiot, like delusional, thinking she knows some. Thinking she's got some gold that nobody knew about. I was in the chat in a public forum. What didn't she know about? I knew what would happen when I went in there. I knew it would spread like wildfire. And it did. Did exactly what I thought it would do. Now, Hyena, you want to come this little chat now? Oh, Hyena, where are you? Hyena! Oh, you're out there in the mud. That's just... Oh, there you... Look at your face, my lady. Look at this mud on this girl's face. You've been trying to dig something up. Look at your face. Look at that muddy face. What do you think about these squirrel eaters and cat eaters and people? I wish you'd do evil stuff, baby. I'd have you put a death spell on them like they wouldn't believe was coming. She won't do that. My dog is sweet. My dog is sweet. Now, you got a muddy face. Look at that mud. I don't think you're in any shape to do a damn spell. You might be. Do a blessing. You want to do a blessing? Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Hyena. You're not in trouble. You want to do one or not? You're not in the mood. Race. Come on. Hyena. Oh, you're so muddy. You're so muddy. Look at you. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. You're not in trouble. Come on. Did you lose your breath digging in the dirt? Huh? Did you lose your breath digging in the dirt? There's a blessing, people. It's a muddy face blessing, but it's a blessing. And she forgives all you people talking about eating Pekingese and dogs because she knows you're idiots. And she knows for every one of you freaks talking about eating dogs, eating squirrels, recipes. There's 400 other people that you're offending every single day. So keep running them mouths because I'm getting all of it and I'm saving all of it. So don't try to back off later and say, oh, this was all just a big joke. People that really love animals don't joke like that. They don't talk about people's kids. They don't call cops. Real people that mean what they say don't do that shit. That's stupid. But you can send me a pizza. I'm serious about that. I love meat lovers' pizzas. Look at your face. You're a mud dog. And you're not upsetting her either. Because she's got more sense than any other do. So KK. Delusional. So when I talk about delusional, I'm talking about you. If I were you, I'd stay out of the middle of this because you don't have a clue what's going on. And your little ball baby friend needs to stay out of it too and you know who she is. And don't bother my friends. I'm warning you. Do not bother my friends about what I'm doing because guess what? I'm the only one that knows what I'm doing. And when I do things, I have a reason. I like my black glasses. They go with my black nightgown. I'm out here in a nightgown, people. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It is what it is. And here are my flowers. And you're not going to believe it. I'm going to lighten the mood a little bit here. Look at these. More blossoms. Unbelievable. We had a bad thunderstorm. There's Boogie Man, Boogie Woogie Man, named after the wrestler. 
Aren't you, bug? More flowers over here. Look at this beauty. This Queen Elizabeth, or whatever it is. There's our shamrock. Oh, there's some blossoms on this shamrock, too. Look, little purple blossoms. Don't you get in there, Reese. Here, Minnie. Here's Reese, muddy and dirty. Reese, look at the camera. Here's another rose that is bursting out. Blossoms, blossoms everywhere. Life abounds here at Pekingese Paradise. Hi, babies. Can you believe these people talk about eating animals? They think that's going to get them some... I don't know what they think it's going to get them, but it's going to get them hated by animal lovers, of which there are a lot more of than there aren't. Let me tell you something. YouTube and TikTok have a very, very strong thing about you talking about abusing animals. So if I were you, I'd watch my step because they'll take you down in a heartbeat. You start talking about that, you're going to offend a bunch of people. A bunch of people. There's way more of them than there are you. So go ahead. Keep running them miles. Keep running your mouths. So I'm going to get out of here now. Oh, i got to show you this one beautiful rose one more time. I cannot believe how sweet looking it is. Look at the colors on that. Tell me that's not a sign that I'm on the right road. There's my little mud face. Hi, Hina. There's Reese. Hi, Reese. Say hi, Manny. Anyway, I am going to get off of here. Don't worry about what I'm doing. And if you are worried about it, I'll tell you. You don't have to go bug my friends. I don't want my friends upset over your stupid nonsense. So, arrivederci. Ciao. I love me some whites of West Virginia. But if you're going to come at me with them, know the facts. Don't try to act like you're a big white lover and you don't know anything because I know everything about them and I will find out. Good try, though. Nice try. Better luck next time. Bye, delusional. I hope I answered all your questions. Leave my friends alone.